Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about your coding question for placement. And the question is kids with the greatest number of candy. So first read the question given the array candies and the integer extra candies. So here you can see the array candies is given and extra candies is also given. Where candies I represents the number of candies that the ith kid has. So the ith kid has the candies i that means the first kit has the candies 2 and the second kit has the candies 3 and the third kit has the candies 5 and so on and for each kit check if there is a way to distribute extra candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of candies among them so notice that multiple kids can have the greatest number of candies. So one kid can have the greatest candies or the multiple kids can have the greatest number of candies. Okay. So now how the output will be like this. So see here friends. So we are given the array of candies and the first one is the number of candies for the first kid and the second one is for the second kid and so on. And this is the extra candies. So you have to add these extra candies to every kid's candies. That means the first kids candies was 2 so if we add this extra candies to the first kit then it will be 2 plus 3 which will be 5 so after adding these candies if we check the array the first kids candies will be 5 and the greatest number of candies will be the first kit and the third kit okay so that's why the first kit will be true because after adding the extra candies he will have the greatest number of candies okay so similarly for the second kit also so the second kit's present candies is 3 okay if we add this extra candies to him then it will be 6 and you can see in this array 6 is the greatest number of candies so for that, for the kit 2, the output will be true. So similarly, if we check for the kit 3, his present candies is 5. And if we add the extra candies 3, then it will be 8. And 8 is the greatest number of candies among these candies. So the output for the third kit will be true. So if we check for the next kit, that is fourth kit so the present candies is one and if we add the extra candies which is three then it will be four and four is not the greatest number of candies in this array because five is already present and five is greater than this four okay so the output for this fourth kit will be false so similarly for the last kit the output will be true okay hope you understand this question now we'll write the code using vector. So if you want to know more about the vector then please watch my vector video and after watching that video you will feel more comfortable about vector. Okay so let's write the code using C++. So first of all I'll write the basic format of the C++ that is as include bits slash standard C++ dot h using namespace standard int main and inside this main function first we'll write this array okay this candies array so we can store this candies in a vector so for that write here a vector and its data if is integer okay then write the name of the vector so the name of the vector is candies and copy all the candies from here that is 23513 so copy it and paste it here okay now we need the another variable which is extra candies okay so this is integer type integer extra candies and its value is 3. Now we'll write a function where we'll do all the operations. Okay. So the name of the function is kids with candies. So write here kids with candies. And inside this pass this vector and this variable extra candies. 
so candies and extra candies okay so now we'll write the same function here before this main method that is kids with candies so what will be the return type of kids with candies so if you see the question the return type will be an array okay so we have to return an array so write here vector and we have to return it in boolean so the data type will be boolean so next write the name of the function that is kids with candies and inside this write the vector integer candies and integer extra candies so inside this first of all we need a result vector where we will store all the results that is all the boolean results okay so to store all these results so first of all we need to write a vector boolean type vector so its type is boolean and the name of the vector is result next we'll write a for each loop so for auto i candies so this for each loop will extract each and every data from these candies so two will be come to these candies and it will pass to this i so the data type of two is integer so it will automatically convert to integer when it comes to i so for that we have write here auto so you can also write here integer so now our first task is to find the maximum element in this array so how to find the maximum element in this array so you can easily find the maximum element into a vector by writing max element and then the name of the vector that is candies dot begin to candies dot end okay so in this range we can easily find the maximum element now we'll check if the first kids candies and the extra element is greater than this max element or not that is the sum of the first element and extra candies is greater than the max element or not similarly we'll check for the second element and this extra candies if the sum of these two is greater than this max element or not similarly we'll check for the rest of the element okay so for that we have to write here if condition so if and inside this we'll check extra candies extra candies plus i why i because using this for each loop will extract each and every element from this array candies so first we will count to this i so here will be 3 plus 2 so now we will check here if extra candies plus the element first element of the candies is greater than equal to the maximum element of the vector or not if the condition satisfied then we will store true into the vector result so for that we will push back here push back true to the result so result dot push back true else result dot push back false And finally, we'll go outside of this for loop and we'll return this result vector from here. So just write here return result. Okay. And it will return the result vector containing true and false. So for that, here the return type is vector and its data type is boolean. So now, so we have to store that into a vector. So for that, write a vector of boolean type, vector, and write here bool. And then the name of the vector. So the name of the vector is answer. Okay. So the result will be stored into this answer. Now we want to print the result. So how to print the result? So to printing the result is very easy using a for loop. So for 
ऑटो आई इक्वल्स टू एंसर डॉट वेगिन एंड आई नॉट इक्वल्स टू एंसर डॉट एंड एंड आई प्लस प्लस सी आउट हियर एस्टोरिक आई एंड देन गिव अ स्पेस सो आर कोड इज कंप्लीट सो लेट्स रन दिस so you can see our output is 11101 so 1 means true and 0 means false so if you tally this with this output that this is true 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 false true okay so our output is correct so you can check this by giving another test cases and this is a very very important coding questions for your upcoming coding test and i hope you find this video helpful and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care